Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today we are going to talk about concepts. So these are going to be words such as all and some. So I would model for my students where they would whoops, find those words. And on a different device, I can find... I'm going upside down. Oh. And I go to my determiner and I can do. None. Okay. So those are the kinds of words that we're going to be talking about. So there is a lesson plan on the language lab in stage one for quantitative concepts. And I chose one of the games from there to do today just because it's fun. And again, we do unexpected things to get our students to get them engaged. So um, this one is just kind of cool because we're talking about pigs in the mud. And so there is a game board that comes with it and you can print this out as large or as small as you want. So this is just a little small version of it, but here is my mud and I have my pigs. And so as the students um, choose a card, they can use all of their pigs, some of their pigs or none of their pigs. So this one says, put none of your pigs awesome. in, <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. My dog just nosed the device and made it talk, and now he's trying to figure out what in the world he did. So he just likes to push on things with his nose. Absolutely funny. Okay, so then we would have, okay, not put none of your pigs on in the mud, and so we would make sure that the mud didn't have any pigs on it, and then I might pick another card that says put some of your pigs in the mud, and then we would practice putting some of them, but not all of them. All right, so very, very simple but sometimes um, kids need to be taught this concept. So there are a couple games that are included with this lesson plan. So there's one with the pigs in the mud and there's one with flies and frogs and there's a little spinner game that has bugs. And again, we're trying to keep our kids actively engaged by um, using things that are gonna be interesting to them.